In this section, I'm going to be talking about strategies, specifically where to position yourself. Ideally, what you would like to have happen when you're shooting video in a uh, panel is that you find your seat and someone sufficiently short sits in front of you so that you end up with an unobstructed view of the stage. Of course, this rarely happens. Instead, some really tall guy ends up sitting right in front of you with a big head and you end up... Uh, having a nice view of the back of the guy's head. Of course, at this point, you could elevate your camera to shoot over the guy, but then you'd be pissing off everyone behind you. That, in a nutshell, is the main challenge of shooting video at Comic-Con. How to deal with obstructions in front of you without becoming an obstruction to the people in back of you. Fortunately, this is doable, and all it takes is carefully positioning yourself and applying some of the equipment and features that we've uh, gone over. There are four shooting positions that I'm going to go over. These are front, side, rear, and wall. You'll note that all these positions are on the periphery. I don't recommend sitting in the uh, interior region of the of the uh, seating. Obviously front position is a good place to be. I get the best image quality from this position. There should be fewer obstacles between you and the stage at this position and because of the viewing angle to the raised stage you shouldn't need to raise your camera to shoot over obstacles. This applies to the first row and the first couple of rows. Here's an example of uh, front position. This video I shot in Hall H from about the 4th or 5th row. Of course the downside to front position is that everybody wants it. These seats can be very hard to get, especially for the large ballrooms. Another downside is that uh, sometimes you'll have photographers taking shots from the very front of the stage and uh, they may get in your way. And uh, in Hall H specifically, there's sometimes a cameraman positioned right in front. Side position is a good place to shoot from, and by side I mean the very last uh, seat on the right or the very last seat on the left. There's a lot less competition for these seats, so they're much easier to get than front position. A few things to keep in mind. You don't want to be too close to the front, um, because otherwise your, your, your viewing angle may be a bit too severe, so you want to be back a little ways. Secondly, when selecting uh, the left or right side, you want to keep in mind uh, where the podium is. You typically want to shoot from the opposite, opposite side of the podium, otherwise your uh, line of sight to one of the panelists may be blocked by the podium. Inside position, uh, you're able to elevate your camera without blocking the views of people behind you, uh, since the people behind you are looking towards the stage, not straight ahead. Do keep in mind though that in some halls there's uh, screens to the left and right of the stage so you don't want to elevate too high where you end up blocking the view to those screens. Fortunately uh, those screens are up pretty high so you've got some room vertically to work with. Here's an example of side position. I shot this video in ballroom 20 and I'm about oh, a couple dozen rows back. If you can't get a side seat, then the very last row uh, is a viable option if you have a decent zoom on your camera. There may be people walking up and down the aisles during a panel, especially the north-south aisles, so you'll want to try to pick a back row seat near the center. This will minimize the number of aisles that you'll have to shoot over. Since there's no one behind you, you can elevate the camera just about as high as you want. Unless, of course, there are people standing uh, uh, against the back wall. This video I shot in Hall H in the very last row in the back well, towards the, uh, the right. As you can see with a 12x zoom you can actually get a pretty decent shot although uh, a little bit more zoom would have been useful in this case. In the large halls they don't allow standing but in the uh, small rooms they do. And so, if you can take wall position, I highly recommend it. It's probably the best position to shoot from, in my opinion. 
You can either do it from a side wall or from a rear wall. With wall position, you can uh, elevate your camcorder just about as high as you want, and you have a wall there to support you so you, you can get a pretty steady shot. Here's an example of side wall position that I took in one of the smaller rooms. A few words now about audio. In some of the larger rooms, uh, for example, Ballroom 20, there's a lot of echo to the point that uh, it's very hard sometimes to figure out or make out what, what the heck the panelists are saying. I think uh, as you get closer to the stage, uh, the audio improves. One option for dealing with, with this is that if you have a portable audio recorder and uh, you have a friend sitting in a, in a, a spot that has good audio, you can give the recorder to the, the friend to record uh, the panel and then later in editing you can uh, replace the audio track from the camcorder with this uh, audio track from the uh, recorder. But beyond that, I don't have any good solutions for, for, for audio. That's all I had. Hopefully these tips are useful to amateur videographers out there in Comic-Con. Um, hopefully we can uh, get a lot more people recording panels, because there's still a bunch of really great small panels that get little to no coverage. So, until next time.